Without further ado, we'd like to direct everyone's attention to the video boards. The number 15 will take its rightful place above Ashburn Alley, where it will reside in perpetuity in honor of the distinguished career of our friend Dick Allen. With the help of Michael Jack Schmidt, the Phillies will officially retire number 15 on the count of three, two, one. Michael. I'd like to thank John Middleton, Mike Schmidt, Mike Tolan, everybody along the way, and all the fans of Philadelphia for this honorable moment. And I'll say it again. Thanks so much, John. It means a lot to me and my family. As Drupal Cabrera stands in. Swing and a miss. He got him. 96. And now the Phillies come to bat against 36-year-old right-hander Anibal Sanchez. One and four record of 6.90 ERA as he faces Roman Quinn with a wide first pitch fastball. Pull to the ground right side. Diving stop. Luis Garcia up to a knee and throws to Cabrera in time for the out. A gem by the second baseman, Garcia. JT Realmuto is the batter. Out to right field. Going back on it is Adam Eaton to the scoreboard. It's off the top of the scoreboard. Harper to third. The throw goes to second. And Harper thought about taking off once he stopped at third. It'll be a double for JT. His fifth of the year. Second and third. Two outs. All right, so two out base hit is what the Phillies need here. D.D. Gregorius, the hitter. That one's hit sharply on one hop right between the legs of Holt. Two runs will score. And the Phillies take a 2-0 lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Some good two-out hits. That one has five strikeouts. The last three of them have been looking. Good speed at second in Garcia with two outs. And Turner to center. Back is Quinn. Jumping. It's off the very top of the wall. And Trey Turner's going to have at least three right here. The ball rolling around. Here he comes. Looks like an inside the park home run. See you later. It's a 2 2 game. Quinn tried to make the leaping catch, slammed into the fence, so he was out of the play. By the time Bruce recovered, Turner was circling the bases. Well, it hit at the very top of that. 13 foot 3 inch wall in right center field. I'm thinking as soon as that ball hit the wall it was a home run. Watch. Watch Trey run. Are you kidding me? That's full throttle folks. You don't see that too often. Oh man. That is cool. Phil's two Nationals two. We start the home half of the third inning and it'll be Reese Hoskins to lead off for the Phil's. That ball is hit out toward left field. The belt's not going to help him there. It's gone. A home run for Reese Hoskins. It's another one. He's homered now six times in his last nine games, and the Phillies retake the lead. <laughs> How good is he feeling right now? With the struggles he's been through and, and to just completely turn it around night and day. Last, what did you say, 21 games he was hitting 325? All kinds of production. Whew. I'll bring up D.D. Gregorius. He's running again, and he's going to score. That ball is hit out toward right center field over the head of Robles. JT held up for a moment. It's bobbled by Robles, so JT's going to score easily. It's now 4-2. to two. A Wander Suero moves into a real tight spot with the bases loaded one out to face Bryce Harper. Set for Suero. He deals. Strike three on a cutter, a swing and a miss to the outside. And a big second out of the inning as Suero strikes out Harper. Not out of the woods yet, however, with JT Real Muto coming up. He deals. Strike three called on a changeup at the belt to the outside, and Wander Suero comes in to put out the fire. The Phillies leave the bases loaded. Advancing Garcia to third, and Robles into scoring position at second. The Trey turn to the batter. Here's a swing and a chopper over the mound. Charging in, Gregorius has it. In front of second, his throw to first is in time to get Turner as Garcia comes in to score from third. It's a 4-3 game. Two out, tying run at third for Juan Soto. And he'll drive one to center. That's a base hit. And this game is tied. We'll take over. He pitched last night. And Phelps will face the bottom of the order, which has been tough. The bottom of the order scored three of the four runs. 
over to first and off the glove of Reese. Get into right field. So got they throw behind him and he's out at first base. He got a little soft and Bryce Harper was able to pick him off. Yeah, Bryce looks up. He sees he sees Garcia not looking and throws behind him. Great short hop pick by Phelps though. Michael A. Taylor first at bat in the series. One for five with a solo homer and a walk. Fastball, Taylor, high and deep, left center. See you later. His second of the series. And for the first time in the last six games, the Nationals have a lead. And it's provided by the big hit of Michael Taylor. Now that had a big sound off the crack of the bat. <laughs> and there was no question that pitch was grooved middle in and belt high, and he did not miss it. Well, the Phillies have the bases loaded, and Andrew McCutcheon has been introduced as a pinch hitter to face the new pitcher, Daniel Hudson. Ground ball out towards shortstop. Picked up by Turner. Flips to second for one. That's all they'll get. The game is tied up. An RBI for McCutcheon. The bases are now loaded, and Taylor goes to third, and it'll bring Brock Holt up. Pulled toward first base, and Reese has got it. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the inning is over. So Alec Bohm, well, he's got a three-hit game, four-hit game, would win it for the Phillies, but he doesn't need to win it with a hit. Bottom of the tenth inning, here's the pitch. With the bases loaded, he hits it high in the air to center field. Real Muto will tag. Robles is under it. It's not deep. Robles makes the catch. Remuto's going home. Robles is thrown to the plate. Not in time! The Phillies win it on a sacrifice fly by the rookie Alec Baum. They win it six to five here in the bottom of the 10th inning. A walk off sack fly. 